On Sunday, the AP Top 25 was released. And once again, I'm going to tell you how I feel about it. And if there's adjustments I wanted to make, I'm going to make them. And there's a lot this week. Whether it's a flip just between a couple teams, just where they are. Or it's a four-spot move, which is what I have at one of them. So, here we go. Um, the current ranking, the actual ranking... Alabama 1, Georgia 2, <clears throat> Ohio State 3, Clemson 4, Notre Dame 5, West Virginia 6, 7, Washington 8, Penn State 9, Texas 10, UCF 11, Oklahoma 12, Michigan 13, LSU 14, Florida 15, Wisconsin 16, Miami 17, Oregon 18, Kentucky 19, Colorado 20, NC State 21, Auburn 22, Texas A&M 23, USF 24, Mississippi State and 25, Cincinnati. So, yeah, I can agree with one through six. Alabama, I don't think I have to say anything else. Georgia, very convincing win over Vandy. Ohio State, a nice win against Indiana. Clemson with a dominant victory over Wake Forest on the road. And then Notre Dame with an impressive road victory against Virginia Tech. And West Virginia with a bit of a struggle win, but still a win against Kansas. Then we get to number seven and eight. I flipped Washington and Penn State. Penn State had a bye. They did not play this week. But I, I flipped them just because Washington, they only won by seven. Over to UCLA. Um, UCLA winless this season, having a very tough season. So I feel like Washington, even though it was at UCLA, should have beaten them by some more points there. So, yeah. Uh, Michigan, I have them at number nine instead of number 12. Just because I think I think Texas is a little overrated, and I think you move up. I'll tell you that, all that stuff. But just a couple of spots here and there, and they end up at my number nine. So you got the Penn State Washington flip, and then you got, um, yeah. I'm sorry, I lost my thought. I was like looking at the UCLA Washington score. Uh, Washington was up twenty four to seven. At halftime, and they did blow that lead, and they ended up winning by seven points. But you know, still, I think they should have done more. I just wanted to see, like, what happened in the game and stuff. But number ten, I have Florida. Florida with a very impressive victory over LSU. LSU was number five, and LSU was looking pretty good in the original rankings. They had LSU at thirteen, Florida at fourteen. How can you not flip them when Florida literally just beat them? You couldn't put them one more spot and drop LSU one more? That's flat out stupid. Like, Florida is literally proved they're the better team. They're one spot under. That's absurd. Um, I could go on a long little rant about that, but I think everyone should get my point after that. So, yeah, that's that's why Florida's 10. They had a nice win over number five, the top five team, and they were number 22. So I have them moving up to number 10. Number 11... Texas, after the impressive victory against Oklahoma, they were dominating Oklahoma after the third quarter. That's why I think the AP people put them so high. It's because after the third quarter, they were up 45-24 on that explosive offense, and they were exposing Oklahoma's defense. Then they decided to go conservative. Oklahoma got back in the game, and that Texas had to drive late to get a late field goal to win. So I think if you don't go so conservative, Texas wins by a nice margin. And that's why the uh, poll had them up at nine. But uh, just to do the fact that they did blow that lead and they did not beat them by as much as they should have, I have them at 11 instead of nine. They still they still deserve to move up a decent amount of spots just due to the fact that they beat Oklahoma, who was number seven. And the talent on the offense, obviously the defense was garbage, but they did fire their defensive coordinator, Mike Stoops, on Monday. So or Sunday, Monday or Sunday, one of those days. But yeah, twelve LSU. Uh, the original ranking was thirteen. Um, yeah, just they definitely deserve to be lower than Florida because Florida beat them. And then with Texas and LSU, I put Texas ahead because Texas won this week and LSU did not. Um, and it was in order of what the previous rank because thirteen I have Oklahoma. So you got Florida who beat LSU, Texas who beat Oklahoma, LSU who lost to Florida, Oklahoma who lost to Texas. So that's where I have that. And then UCF I have at number 14. 
Um, 48 to 20 win over SMU. They haven't really had a tough schedule and they haven't really played anyone. They were in the top 10. I thought that was a little overrated. Uh, yeah, after the 13 and 0 or 14 and 0, whatever they went last year, and they're like, they're good and all, but if you put them in one of these team schedules, you put them in Oklahoma schedule, LSU schedule, Texas, Florida, any of these teams ahead of them, I, I don't think they do as well as they're doing right now. Um, so that's why I dropped them to 14. And then 15, I kept the same, Wisconsin. They didn't deserve to be moved. I thought that was good. And then I flipped Miami and Oregon, 16-17. Oregon did not play. Miami almost lost to Florida State, who has had a struggle this year. Florida State's had a rough season. Miami was down 27-7. They rallied back to win 28-27 at home. Miami, it's... Man. At number 18... I kept the rent 18, 19, 20. I kept the same Kentucky with an overtime loss at Texas A&M, a very tough place to play. Uh, they lost in overtime, which is sucks after the hot streak they had had. And then Kentucky or Colorado, they are six and zero, 28, 21 victory over Arizona state NC state at 20 with the 28, 23 win over Boston college. I thought those were reasonable, uh, two, six and zero teams. So, yeah, I moved Texas A&M from 22 to 21 just due to the fact of their, they have two losses, but of who those two losses are to, uh, one of them was a very close hard-fought win or loss at home to Clemson, and then the other one was at Alabama. And I don't think I need to say much more. Uh, but A&M, they, their wins, everyone's like, oh, they're playing a bunch of FCS schools or blah, blah, blah. Uh, they don't have too many impressive wins other than the Kentucky one. They got Arkansas and then a couple kind of cupcake games. I think they played like Northwestern State, and I can't remember the other one. But Arkansas, obviously not that big of a deal of a win. But this Kentucky game, I think, is a good win for them. Uh, they play a very talented Kentucky team, and I think they need to continue this because in the years past, obviously, they've had that November slump. Uh, late October, November. So if they can keep this pace up, they can keep moving up in the rankings. Uh, so yeah, they need to keep winning. 22, I moved USF up a spot. Just, yeah, they're undefeated. Why not? Uh, then Auburn, I dropped them to 23. I'm sorry, Auburn, but after you guys did so good last year and this year, nine points against Mississippi State. It's terrible. Come on. Mississippi State lost to Florida at home. They lost to Kentucky. Don't get me wrong. Those are two good teams, but Mississippi State is not as great as we think. And, you know, no, I, I, I don't even know. Auburn, man, come on. 24, I have Cincinnati. They're undefeated. So, yeah. Un undefeated teams, I think they do deserve, at this point in the season, I think they do deserve to be rewarded for their wins and their zero losses. But at the same time, I can see the argument, like I said with the UCF, if you put them in one of these schedules, they would not be doing as well. So, But Cincinnati is 6 0, so I think you got to give them some credit there. But that is why they're at the bottom of the top 25 because they have played some weak teams. And at 25, Mississippi State, I think they deserve to be back into the top 25 after that win against Auburn. But uh, Auburn, just not a good day for them, obviously. But Mississippi State, good for them. They, Nick Fitzgerald had a good day, 28, rush, 28 rushes for 195 yards. That's not bad. Uh, just out of the top 25, Iowa. Um, deserved outs, people who dropped out this week who I think deserve to be out. Oklahoma State was number 25, and they lost at home 48-42 to to Iowa State. That, that Just get out of the top 25, please. Stanford got dominated at home by Utah without Bryce Love. That's their second straight loss, and it was a big margin, 40-21, to and they did lose 38-17 to to Notre Dame. And then Michigan State was number 20. They lost at home 29-19 to to Northwestern. Yeah, that's, that's a deserving deserving dropout. And then Virginia Tech, yeah, the, they got dominated and they were number 24. Um, 
Yeah. So, in conclusion, Texas, they might be back. Uh, Alabama, they're, they're still the clear number one. Uh, SEC, they're looking pretty dang good. And there's some teams like Miami, I need to get it together. Miami, Auburn, you guys need to get it together. Um, other things, I don't know. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Here, watch that. Watch that. Subscribe by clicking on my face. Typical Tuesday. Ah, it's actually Tuesday. How about that? Typical Tuesday. Just click on the subscribe button. That made me happy. Thank you for watching.